Okay, Stefan, I've got everything running here. I've uh, added up over 100 pounds and the pop-off valve definitely is going off. And I'll remove this valve because I know the pop-off valve works. Uh, hand pump works good. This is your uh, air airlock valve. That's the pop-off valve going on. So, that's to get air out of the system. You know, like in the pumper, and then everything you pump now goes right into the boiler. And this is a small temporary bucket here. And this is a hose clip on for filling it. Only when it's cold though. And sight glass is a little bit low right now, but I'm just going to run the engine for a while. Tricox, whistle works great, although this valve is leaking a little bit. But, so I'll leave that temporary valve on there. I'm going to pull the... You'll see it's leaking just a little bit. Just uh, turn the valve off and it'll be fine. And uh, the engine's running great. I've got over 14 volts coming out of the alternator. It's a single pole, one wire alternator. And uh, I can't ship the battery though. And... Uh, See, the fly ball governor is good. I'm going to adjust it a little bit more. I'm going to get more RPM out of it. It's, it uh, is uh, topping out at about 200 RPM. I'd like to see a little bit more. And the oiler. I had to change oilers because the other one was too small. It just went through the oil in no time. So I put a bigger one on it. Uh, I have grease inside of here for this crank pin. And your oil areas are here, grease here and here, and oil with an oil can just a cross leg guide right here. And there's an oil point right there on that one. And uh, let's see, that's about, oh, um, so when I always started, I always started at either top dead center or bottom dead center. And it'll start right off. If you have it here and you want to, your throttles on, your that steam is on, just give the give it a push and it'll go. That pop-off valve is gonna go again. See that it didn't take off right away. I'll try that over again. Just bring it to the top dead center and turn on the steam. And I've got these the oiler valves open about a quarter of a turn. I'll check that and I'll fill it with oil before I ship it. So each one's about a quarter of a turn. So steam pressure goes inside the oiler and it pushes out a metered amount based upon how open these valves are. And this thing really gets hot, so watch it. And this is your water drain at the bottom. Make sure that water drain is... Uh, you know, all your water is drained out in the winter, especially. Same with the pump. You know, you want to make sure if it's freezing out at all, if this pump, you take this one off and drain all the water out of the system so it doesn't freeze. And I've only got one hand free here, but I'll see if I can uh, get the voltage up here. is just putting out 14.98 volts right now. And if your battery is full, it won't charge it at all because the alternator has an internal regulator in it. Oh, good. And I'll continue running it here for another hour or so. Oh, and your blower is right here. That uh, gives you uh, steam going up the stack to pull up the flyer. And then I put this little T on here for you. You can put a valve there or whatever you're going to put there. That's just a quarter inch pipe or eighth inch pipe. I'm not sure which one. Oh, okay. And this is your steam hose right here. 
and I've got a union on it. So you plug it this end in first, just screw that in in tight, and then your union you can uh, attach it right here. And that's the way I'll disconnect it as well. Okay, and one other thing, uh, with a pair of pliers, these are the, the blow out, blow down valves. So that if there's water in the cylinder, you want to make sure and open those when you start it. But I've been running it here, so I don't need to have didn't need to have them open. So when you first start it up, you want to have those open. That blows the water out of the cylinder, so it doesn't uh, condense in there and break the piston when you start it up. Beautiful running machine. Nice unit. Great boiler. It'll last many years. If you guys uh, watching this video want to have a unit like this, I'll be doing another one someday. I don't know, not until next spring. If you want it, um, get your name in now and a deposit and I'll get one built for you. Every time I have them done, they're sold right away. My number is 206-948-0770.